Hi there, it's Alexandra from the Middle Sized Garden YouTube channel and blog and I've seen some wonderful middle sized English gardens this year and I've noticed that the excitement about a garden actually begins when you arrive at the front door. Front gardens really set the scene and yet they're quite small so one or two easy effective ideas can make a huge difference. So I've collected together my favourite 13 ideas for you to try in your garden. Tip one, use your planting to echo the colour of your front door. Here garden designer Posy Gentles has matched the unusual shade on her front door with the planting of coleus and other flowers. Tip two, think about your architecture or the colour of your bricks or your roof as well when you're deciding to do your planting. Here, garden writer Francine Raymond has chosen yellow and grey as the theme for her garden because she has yellow bricks and a grey slate roof and the purple of this Verbena bonariensis just looks wonderful against the yellow and the grey. And then what about tip three, which is contrast your house colour or your front door colour with the planting in your front garden. This is another of garden designer Posy Gentle's designs and she's done it for Mary Clare, who's the owner of the gallery Frank in Whitstable. Tip four, if you've got a theme for your back garden, take it through to the front as well. When you walk down the street, you can see that this is Philip Oostenbrink's house. He's the head gardener at Canterbury Cathedral Gardens and his back garden is an exotic one. So he's taken that exotic theme through to the front and it looks fantastic. Tip five, use repetition for effect. Here there are three Nipfopfias in Mary Clare's front garden designed by garden designer Posy Gentles and that's echoed by three of every other plant. It looks fantastic. Tip seven, line your path with just one of any kind of plant. This one is my own Bonica rose, which was planted by my predecessors who designed our front garden. And it's been such a brilliant design that we have barely changed it. This rose flowers effusively in June and July. I then chop it back with shears in August and during September, October, November, and sometimes even December, I have roses to enjoy in the front garden. Tip eight, use lavender in your front garden. Sometimes the front of the house is sunnier and more open and lavender loves that sort of a situation. And it's wonderful to walk up the front path and have the scent of lavender emerging as you brush past it. Tip nine, use a window box. This one's perched on the low wall between two terraced houses and it really echoes the colors of the front door. Tip 10, if you've got a larger garden, then still stick to one color theme. Our front garden, which was planted by our predecessor, has a colour theme of pink. There are the pink Bonica roses, there's pink nerines, there's pink tulips and there's pink viburnum. And actually it does all look wonderful. And what's more, it looks quite tidy, which means that if we haven't weeded, actually nobody really notices. Well, at least they don't mention it to me. And I love the use of lavender everywhere in this large front garden. It really frames the house. Tip 11, use pots. This can be tricky in any city where they can be stolen, but if you're not too worried about that, pots make a wonderful instant garden and you can grow plants that you can't grow sometimes in your soil. Great Dixter is a garden in Sussex that you must visit if you can. And it, they use pots around the front door to experiment with different combinations and planting schemes. Tip 12, if you have a fence in your front garden, then think about the colour of the wood or painting it. Here, garden designer and BBC Gardeners World presenter Mark Lane has used a grey tinged fence in his front garden and it really sets off his planting beautifully. And tip 13, nothing beats a simple treatment like a rose around the door. You can find out more about some of these gardens by seeing the videos and posts in the links in the description below and also links to garden designers and other people. And some of the gardens are also open for the NGS, the National Garden Scheme in Britain. If you've enjoyed this, hit like because I then know you want to hear more about front gardens. And if there's any other part of the garden you'd like me to do more on, then please let me know in the comments below. The Middle Size Garden YouTube channel and blog uploads every Saturday with tips, ideas and inspiration for your middle-sized garden. So to do join us. Thank you.